do you consider yourself an honest person? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm Alice in Wonderland and I'm about to take a lie detector test with my manager and best friend of a thousand years, Garth. Hello. I'm John. I'm a lie detector. Cute people are usually big liars. We'll see. Oh no. <laughs> Alison, do you fully consent to taking this lie detector test? Yes. That's true. All right, let's get started with some easy questions to get your baseline. No. Okay. Uh, is your real name Alison Wonderland? No. True. <laughs> Ooh. What's your real name? Alexandra Schola. True. <laughs> is your real middle name Diana? No. True. Ooh. <laughs> Were you born in Australia? Yes. True. What city? Sydney. <laughs> True. Have you ever taken a lie detector test before? No. True. Are you nervous? <laughs> no. <It's a> lie. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, we got some questions from your friends and family. Does that make you nervous? Yes. <laughs> Here we go. So you said you were from Sydney, correct? Yes. Did you enjoy growing up there? Yeah. Would you say you were a good student? No. True. <laughs> Did you ever cheat at school? Yes. True. <laughs> My parents are going to watch this. Have you ever cheated at a board game? No. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> Would you say you're an honest person? Yeah. True. True. Have you ever lied about your height or your age? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever lied to customs when entering a country? Yes. True. <laughs> Which country? Um, America. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. Um, I didn't actually have any work going on at the time when I entered, um, and I lied and I made up that I was working for Justin Bieber. True. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever lied to your parents? Yes. True. <laughs> Have you ever specifically lied to your parents about quitting a college scholarship at a prestigious music school in Germany, not telling them, and then driving around following German punk bands? Yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely came from my mum or my dad. For sure. Yeah, I, I got in. I, I was originally a classically trained cellist, and I got into a pretty prestigious school um, to play cello and I was studying over there and I left um, Sydney when I was about 18 and then I'd say maybe halfway through you know doing eight hours a day of scales in a little room I got a little bit annoyed about it and I think the rebellious teen kicked in and I would just travel on the train to different cities like Amsterdam I'd go to Hamburg and I'd smoke weed and I'd follow punk bands around. True. <laughs> Do you have any pets? Yes. Her name is Molly, and she's here right now, actually. Who do you like better, your dog or your manager? <laughs> My dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going red. I, like, I know that this is going to be an annoying, awkward drive home. But... Is your birthday September 26th? No. True. <laughs> 27th? Yes. That makes you a Libra, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know anything about astrology? Yes. Would you say you're a typical Libra? Mm, I don't know. Probably yes, because that was my answer. I don't know. They're indecisive, so yes. True. <laughs> we can skip the are you indecisive question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you comfortable in any situation? No. True. Do you have a tendency to lie? No. <laughs> okay, let's talk about music. Okay. Uh, you mentioned early on that you went to prestigious music school mm -hmm. on scholarship, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> Which one? It is the Bremen Hochschule für Kunst. <laughs> How can that be true? She just didn't say real words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you get your scholarship for? Playing cello. True. When did you start creating your own music? About 2008. True. Do you love every track that you've ever created? No. True. What is your most favourite piece of music you've made? Good enough. True. What was the inspiration for that? 
Um, I want to, it was my first ever show at Red Rocks um, and I was just supporting Diplo and um, I, I thought because it was such an epic venue I wanted to make a five minute long string quartet for people who were into electronic music to dance to and I wanted to see if I could do it as an epic opening um, and so I made good enough and then it made the album because people did dance to it at Red Rocks um, but I shortened it not to five minutes of self-indulgent string quartet. <laughs> would have been an interestingly weird life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a least favorite song? Yes. Probably when I, this is like, when I hear it out now, I like it. But when I think about the process of making it, I do not like the song Church because it took me so long to make. And it was fortress because I couldn't work out the chorus for about a year and a half. So probably Church. True. Have you ever had an awkward encounter with a fan? Yes. True. <laughs> Do you like all of your fans? No. <laughs> there are some weirdos out there, and my fans know this. You can't, you know, there are some weirdos, you know, 1%. You guys go to chill. I have many awkward stories, um, but, you know, I like to focus on the positive, which is 99% of my fans, who I love. Every time I see any of you in the crowd um, at a random festival or in a different country, I feel at home. Have you ever ghost produced for someone else? Yes. True. <laughs> Have you ever had someone ghost produce for you? You have ghost produced for me. Oh, that's true. Yes. True. Definitely true. <laughs> he wrote the um, steel drum line in Cry. So. Never got credited. Never got credited. That's true. What is actually your favorite city to play in? Ever? Mm -hmm. The show. What's your favorite city to go to and play? Oh, Denver. 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 Red Rocks. True. <laughs> What's your least favorite city to play? Albuquerque. True. I'm go so, back there now. I'm sorry, I had a really <laughs> bad experience there. Maybe you can change my mind. We all did. Yeah, we all did. <laughs> it was traumatic. There was blood writ with like words written in blood in the toilet. And there were people jumping that went kind of scary over the decks. Um, it just wasn't a good, it wasn't a good vibe. Do you ever get nervous on stage? Yes. True. Have you ever faked a DJ set? No. True. Here we go. Haters out there. All the haters out there. <laughs> Have you ever had a toilet emergency while on stage? <laughs> I <f> hate you. <laughs> <sighs> yes. <True. laughs> One, ones or twos? <laughs> That's not a yes or no question. I can't answer it. Was it a number? One. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Indonesia, I had food poisoning and they didn't let me, let me off the stage. It was very bad. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Excuse the pun. Do you enjoy traveling for work? No, I don't enjoy traveling, but I like playing when I get there. True. What's the longest you've gone without showering? <laughs> Since being an adult. A week. Oh, a week. It's gotta be longer than that. True. Oh. You know that as well. <laughs> One time, so, <laughs> when we were in Mexico, I was staying with my friend and, and Garth came in and he's like, where's, where's Alex? And he's like, oh, she's having a shower. And he goes, is she okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is how you don't bring your best, you don't work with your best friend. Okay. Do you consider yourself an honest person? Yeah. No, I think it's I'm nervous answering that because I do. I mean, everything. You know it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever pretended to like another artist's music in a conversation, even though you hated it? Yes, I have. <laughs> okay, let's wrap it up. How do you feel now? I feel fine. I actually feel quite cleansed. I feel like I went and did some sort of, you know, admittance to all my sins or something. So that's good. I think you only had like three or four lies. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, although it says that I'm I, I'm not an honest person, so I don't know. No, but that's what you think. Oh, yeah. You think you're not an honest person. Hmm. Imposter syndrome, maybe. Um, would you take one of these again? Yeah, it's fun, maybe. Would you like to challenge anyone to take it? Yeah. <laughs> if only I could challenge someone I know that definitely lied to me a lot. Um, <laughs> all my ex-boyfriends. Okay, we'll call them. <laughs> we'll call them. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned some stuff about me. Um, Garth and I, I don't know if we're best friends anymore, but uh, see you next time and we're out of here.